Liddy Mob. Can't be as excited as I want for y'all today because, um, man, I got breaking news and it's the worst news I could possibly have. Like, this is shit like straight out of a nightmare, man. We talked about this last night on episode one of the Liddy Mob podcast. If you have not, make sure you go check out the Liddy Mob podcast as well as join my Discord server. Um, if you're wondering why I'm drinking a twisted tea at 11 in the morning right now, it's because I have just got a notification on my Detroit Lions that C.J. Gardner Johnson was carted off the field in training camp today. He was carted off the field after a non-contact injury during drills. And, and everybody knows what non-contact football injuries mean, man. This is either an ACL, a MCL, or an Achilles. It's the worst possible news that we could have got right now because <sighs> Emmanuel Mosley already had his setback. Now we're going to be missing C.J. Garner-Johnson for possibly the first 12 games of the season at minimum. You traded Jeff Okuda to the Falcons. And Amani Warrior is now on the Giants. So that now leaves us with Cam Sutton, Jerry Jacobs, and Will Harris. Unless, you know, Brian Branch uh, can prove that he can play in that nickel or that slot position. Um, I just don't know, man. This really sucks. Um, I don't – luckily we still have Kirby Joseph and Tracy Walker. They're not all pros, though, man. And – this is a blow, man. This is this is really a blow. Don't know what it is about the Brad Holmes regime so far and these ACLs and these Achilles, but every single season, a key player goes down. We lost Jerry Jacobs. It affected us. We lost Jeff Okuda. It affected us. Um, Hendon Hooker, Jameson Williams. And now C.J. Gardner-Johnson, man. It's just too much. It's too much. This is the worst possible news that I could be coming with, man. I, I don't know what else to say. Per the report, um, it's going to be reported by Tyler Conway, NFL Rumors Lions, uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson carted off at practice with knee injury. Detroit Lions safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson reportedly left Monday's practice after suffering a knee injury. He was carted off the field and went down with a non-contact injury. They say they'll update us when they get more results, but there isn't too much more to say, man. When a guy goes down with a non-football contact knee injury, it's not his brain. It's not his brain. This is MC. This is cartilage. This is this is serious, man. And 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 I don't know if I'm as confident about this defense without C.J. Gardner Johnson, without that attitude, without that all-pro, without those interceptions, turnovers, without those pass deflections, without him really coaching up Kirby Joseph and Tracy Walker, bro. I don't know how I feel about it, man. I was really excited about this secondary, but losing C.J. Gardner Johnson and losing Emmanuel Mosley and losing Jeff Okuda it doesn't make me feel good, man. I hate to be reporting this video. I wish I had better news. I wish we had something better to talk about. Today, I just planned on talking about Dan Campbell's uh, second press conference today. But instead, you know, we lost TJ, man. That is just the curse of the Detroit Lions, bro. Every single year, man, it never fails. And it's always somebody important, bro. It's always somebody important, bro. You trade up, you draft Jamison Williams out of Alabama. You trade up in the first round to go get him, ACL. It was already there with ACL. You know, you need a quarterback of the future. You need a quarterback of the future. You go out with Hendon Hooker, ACL. It already happened but ACL. Jeff Okuda, year two, drafted him number three overall. Achilles. Jerry Jacobs, year two, just bought out the season before. ACL. I'm sad, guys. Hop in the comment section, man. Make me feel better. Cheer me up, man. How do y'all feel about this? Um, is there is there a guy that we go out and get and bring in? Do you think this has a negative impact on Kirby? Like, because Kirby Joseph was really Kirby Joseph, really good moments last year, especially against Wolf. Uh, 
Kirby Joseph had really what three good games. He balled out against Green Bay twice. I think it was three good games. He balled out against Green Bay twice, and we had one other good game somewhere in there, but still allowed the most touchdowns on the team. I really like CJ DJ for the development of Kirby Joseph and Tracy Walker, bro. Um, I was talking yesterday about Tracy Walker possibly being a good trade bait around the trade deadline for a player swap if we needed like some interior lineman or linebacker help. Um, at this point now, Tracy Walker. It's a good thing we got him. It's a good thing we did sign him to that contract because he's going to have to stay. Oh, yeah, Tracy Walker, another ACL injury. Jesus Christ. Listen, man, don't worry about the shirt. Just ignore it. It sucks, man. It sucks. I'm sad. Um, I don't know, man. Hop in the comments. Say, Tell me what you think about this. Is there a guy we can go after? Is there a young guy we can bring in? Is there somebody that can what, – what, what, what do we do now? How you feel about this? Does it break your heart? And this is just a curse of the Detroit Lions, man. So many expectations, so much hype on us. And every single offseason, somebody important blows their freaking knee out, bro. I'm sad. Man. I'm not mad at CJ GJ. Of course, it's not his fault. I'm not mad at Brad Holmes. I'm not mad at Dan Campbell. It's nobody's fault. It's just the fucking curse of the Detroit Lions, bro. It's, it's a, I don't know what else to call it, guys. It's a curse. It sucks, man. And he was on a prove it deal, one year prove it deal. No telling if he comes back. No telling if he wants to come back. No telling if he's ever the same player. This stinks. I'm sad. I'm gonna drink my twisted tea. I'm gonna smoke. Um, give me a couple hours and I'll post some more videos. Probably post some clips from yesterday. Again, join the Discord. And I'm sorry, man. I know a lot of you guys. The hype for this season was real. We want to believe we the division is ours for the take it. But listen, there's always gonna be a person. You know what I mean? There's always going to be adversity. Life is a game, bro. And we are not playing this game on rookie difficulty. We are playing this game on all Madden. We're playing this game on Hall of Fame. Life is a game. Um, and, and this is just a part of it, you know? So there's going to be adversity. There's going to be setbacks. I hope the Detroit Lions, the coaches, staff, the players can bounce back. Somebody can step up and fill that role. But he was going to be a big, big part of this defense in terms of not only play on the field, but leadership. That attitude, that mentality. We, I feel like we needed some dog energy, man. And losing him and Mosley is losing two of your biggest dogs. This sucks. This, this does suck. I'm sad, man. I'm sad. So I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I'm sad, man. Extremely disappointed. This hurts. You know. Hopefully, Brad and Dan can do something to mitigate it. But as, as for now, I'm tempering expectations, man. There was an expectation to win the division this year and make playoffs. Now I'm more or less just hoping we can we can we can be first or second in the division, man. Because I really don't know. We don't have Jameson Williams for six weeks. We don't have our best defensive back. This sucks, man. Anyway, man, join the Discord server. Shout out to y'all. I'm I, we're cursed, man.